experts say the best way to avoid getting swine flu or spreading it is to wash your hands, cover your mouth, and stay home if you're sick. Yeah, but is it enough? Randy Kay takes a closer look at germs and why one sneeze may be enough. With swine flu so close to home, riding the subway these days makes New Yorkers think twice. So many commuters wondering, can I get it? So we asked Dr. Len Horowitz to ride the rails with us and help us understand the power of a single cough or sneeze. <coughs> All it takes is one good achoo to send well over 40,000 droplets barreling in your direction at about 100,000 miles an hour. They can quickly make dozens of commuters within a few feet very sick. If a person used his hand to cover his sneeze, look out. So if someone sneezed and then grabbed this pole to hang on to, they're going to leave germs behind and then say, I come along to hold on to this pole. I'm going to pick up those germs without even knowing it. Then say, maybe I come over here to sit down and I touch my hand to the seat. Well, I'm going to leave those germs behind for the next unsuspecting commuter. And it spreads from there. And Dr. Horowitz, a specialist in respiratory illnesses, says germs are so hardy they can survive overnight. The viral particles can stay alive for up to 24 hours. So somebody tomorrow morning gets on the subway, touches it, touches their face, introduces it into their body, and they've got it. That could mean hundreds, maybe even thousands of people end up sick. I carry my, um, my cleaning, my hand sanitizer in my purse. Some riders touch their face, rub their eyes, maybe even eat before ever washing their hands. When you touch your face, you're essentially smearing the germ onto your face, and any opening, your nose, your mouth, your eyes, is a place where the germ can get into your body and start to incubate and multiply and cause infection. Just because that sneeze occurred on the subway doesn't mean the germ stayed there. Say the person who sneezed stops at the Metro card machine to buy a subway card before leaving the station. Well, he's going to leave those germs right on that machine for the next person. And it's not just subway riders. Anyone commuting by car or foot may use a germ-covered hand to open an office door or office refrigerator. Maybe they're even sharing your computer. Yuck. In a world where germs are the enemy, it's time to suit up for battle and keep your soap handy.